Shopping for food is a twice weekly challenge for Josefina Bravo. A mother of two and grandmother of six, she looks after her family and volunteers for housing and healthcare missions in Caracas. With four miles to feed, she's one of the millions of Venezuelans acutely aware of the shortages of basic products, which the government says is part of a concerted effort by the opposition. Corn flour, coffee, sugar, milk, rice and pasta are the foods we are talking about. Act now that the government regulated them, because their price was excessive for a carton of 30 acts, 1,000 bolivares. The government regulated them. Now, I don't know what happened. They killed all the chickens or something. I don't know what they did. But now, there are no acts. Other dairy products, like yogurt and cheese, are in abundance. Today, Josefina has milk, but had to queue for it at the Mercal market, which sells food at lower prices fixed by the government. One of the reasons for the scarcities is bachaqueo, the process of buying products at the low prices and selling them on for a chunky profit. It's the people stealing from the people. Because if I buy something for 20 bolivares, I can't sell it for 500. It's illogical. I see a woman selling diapers, one pack of diapers which is regulated at 227 or something like that because I buy them for my granddaughter. Well, they are selling packs of 20 diapers for 1,000 bolivares. When she can't find what she wants, Josefina improvises, using yuca, beans, pounded fruit and milk. In spite of difficulties, Venezuelans are finding sustainable ways to carry on feeding their families as normal. It is a country that everything becomes a joke, a party, and that has helped a lot to cope with this. They have created an exchange mechanism. Here the families barter. Give me some sugar. I will change it for some beans. Josefina grows coriander, mangoes and spring onions in her garden. She, like other Venezuelans, finds a way round the shortages provoked by the economic war. The queues are certainly frustrating, but people don't go hungry. Isabel Fimbo, Telesur, Caracas.